Hey, hi. Um, come on along and see my wood shop. It's in an old carriage house that I have here on my property. So we call it the carriage house wood shop. This carriage house was built sometime around 1850. Uh, it was detached from the house that's right next door. And um, it was never insulated, it was never heated, it was never had electricity. So we took care of all that and moved my tools in here. And this is where I have my shop. It's uh, really handy because it's big enough that uh, I don't have to really ma maneuver too much with my tools. I can stay pretty much in place while I'm working. Uh, it's not very clean right now because we've been in the middle of the project. But uh, it's well used. Um, we found when we were um, putting in the insulation in here and the heating and the electricity, this old sign. Old Herzl, April 24th, 1840-something. So, Herzl was the man that owned the house um, before I did, and his family lived here for about 100 years. Um, some of the other tools that I have here are collections from my grandfather, uh, tools that he had back in the late 1800s. And as an example, uh, this saw, this bit for drilling holes, this level, this saw, you can tell it's a turn of the century because of the suede back that it has to it. The current saws they make now don't have that curvature. And uh, this is an old draw knife of his. And many other tools that we have here are tools that I still use that were my grandpa's. So it's, it's uh, really a fun hobby that we have here. Um, I built um, almost all of the furniture in my house other than the chairs. And um, my grandson, Mark, has worked a lot with me. He's made every one of his Christmas gifts for his family members for the last about three years. And um, so as we, as we go along here, we'll uh, look at some of the various projects that Mark and I have made uh, as Christmas gifts and other projects too. Well, here we are uh, inside my house. This is the dining room. And this is one of the first projects that I built uh, once we bought this house and uh, was able to use the shop. It's this table. It's red oak, um, three-quarter inch, all cut on the side, an inch and a quarter in depth. And it was a huge project, uh, really almost too big for me to handle out in that shop. But I think it turned out pretty nice. Uh, we made him able to enjoy wonderful dinners from around the table with uh, 10 people seated comfortably. All right, so why don't you come on into some other rooms of the house and I'll show you some other projects that I've done. Um, this is actually a green and green design. Um, from Craftsman style hall bench and a very functional with the lids that open and stuff in there. And if we come over this way, you see a little stand that I made to hold this flowers arrangement. Um, it's not only the Craftsman style, but it's we've also incorporated some of the grape design uh, because we live in the grape growing region of Pennsylvania. Okay, go ahead. Here's a coat rack that we made. And if you notice in the background, we have some of my stained glass work. Um, I'm only in Pennsylvania about six months of the year, so while I'm in California, I don't have a big shop, so I do stained glass work. And in our living room, there's a few things that skills along with my stained glass. Kind of an unusual piece, uh, back in the 1920s in hotels in the lobby they might have this mag magician's table and as people came into the uh, as people came into the lobby of the hotel there might be a magician here and he might show a few tricks. So I could kind of show you, I have a drawer back here that holds the, uh, the items, the tricks, but I can kind of show you one trick here that I've learned how to do. Um, We'll take as an example these, you know, the old cups where you put the things in them. Well, I'm just going to use one of them. And I think I'll put the one, there's three there. I'll put the one in there. They're all hollow and everything like that. Take the magic wart wand and you go abracadabra. And it's able to fall you know, all the way through. So moving upstairs, we have our bedrooms and a guest bathroom. 
this is against bathroom, and uh, we couldn't find a piece at a furniture store that fit an antique piece that fit this space. We wanted to be just this height, just this width, so I made one. And it's real functional, it holds a ladies hair dryer and, and other items there, but uh, it also, I think, fits in with the time period of the house. And uh, this, well, in this hallway, first of all, uh, this little shelf, bookshelf, also a green and green design and I incorporated some of my stained glass with wood and in, in the master bedroom Thanks a lot for uh, touring with me today, my shop, and uh, some of the furniture in, in the house. And if you like what uh, I have and would like to see some more of my uh, furniture, um, say so in the comments and we'll, we'll get back together.